from asking Christopher Columbus about slavery. Being taken as a slave is better than being killed, no? And instructing women to be more feminine. Just try smiling and see how it affects the people around you. Prager U is giving kids lessons in history, civics, and current events with a different spin. As the false claims of racial targeting spread, so did the anger and violence. And now these lessons could be taught in Montana schools. There's definitely a political agenda attached to it. Clementine Lindley has two students in Billings Public Schools right now and is one of the many parents concerned. She's heard of PragerU content before. I think it's really important that if we're, this is truly going to be an education tool, that whatever is being taught from that system needs to be taught, a counter perspective needs to be caught, taught from a different system. Despite the name Prager University, Prager U is not an accredited educational institution. It's a conservative nonprofit organization founded by Dennis Prager, a well-known right-wing talk show host. It is a betrayal of parental trust to indoctrinate rather than teach. But getting approval to be a curriculum option in Montana is not based on politics. We are following the law, making sure that if a company comes to us and they've got a business practice and it's filed with the Secretary of State with a surety bond, I open the gate. Superintendent of Public Instruction Elsie Arnson says PragerU approached Montana and was approved in August. We know who this entity is and we recognize that there is value. But Arnson says the curriculum will not be automatically implemented in schools. Individual districts and school boards must make that decision independently and fund it, a move Lindley hopes will not happen in Billings. It's really easy to get caught up in what's going on globally, nationally, and forget that locally we have a lot of things going on that we personally have lots of control over. A textbook case of change, getting attention from one end of the political aisle to the other. But what I do appreciate are people that are recognizing what is being taught in our classrooms. Whether they like it or not, they still have a voice. In Billings, Jackie Coffin, MTN News.